I call the honourable member for Melbourne. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Immigration. Minister, you said that you could guarantee the safety of refugees under Australia's care at Manus Island if they remain in the detention centre and act cooperatively. Given consistent reports that refugee Reza Barati was doing exactly that when he was beaten to death, isn't it now clear that your commitment is worthless and that you can't guarantee their safety? Or is the brutality at Manus simply another plank in your policy of deterring vulnerable people who are seeking our protection? Um, before I call the minister, the last part of that question is coming very close to being a reflection on a member. Um, however, with that reservation, if the minister is happy to answer it, I will give him the call. But I would suggest uh, that in future the member may choose to word it differently. I call the, uh, the, the minister for immigration and border protection. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for his question. The death of Mr. Brady is a tragedy. It's a terrible tragedy. It is as tragic as the 1,200 other deaths that occurred over the last five years. All of those deaths were no less tragic than Mr. Barati. The children, the children who died at sea, the children who died at sea, of the some 8,000, the some 8,000 who got on boats over the last five years, when the previous government joined up with the Greens to abolish the measures that worked under There'll the Howard government, Madam Speaker, left. that worked under the Howard government, and they abolished, Madam Speaker. Now, Madam Speaker, the situation on Manus Island has been very difficult. It has. The previous government put in place arrangements on Manus Island, and they the put in place all of warm. the arrangements and all of the contractors that were present on that night. And soon after becoming the Minister for Immigration, I went to Manus Island, and one of the first things that presented to me was the issue of security in that compound. And as a result of that, we commissioned a force protection assessment review and started taking immediate steps to improve the security of that compound. And I believe the steps that we took over the ensuing four to five months saved lives on that night. Now, Madam Speaker, managing a centre in a situation like that, where there are rising tensions, where we have been working for months to try and put in place the details of the resettlement arrangements and the processing <coughs> arrangements on Manus Island that were left undone by the previous government has led to the increase in tensions in that place. Now we're working on that, Madam Speaker, but it remains the case that if there is riotous behaviour and if there are people who are not cooperating with the care and support that is being provided to them in centres then the risk in those centres inevitably goes up. Now, we have been working to reduce that risk. And the report, Madam Speaker, which we have announced that we have put in place, that is now being going to be conducted in partnership with the government of Papua New Guinea, the police investigation that is underway there, the coronial inquiry, that will get to the facts, Madam Speaker. That will get to the facts. And we will know what happened on that night. I'm not going to speculate on the conduct of any individuals on that night, but the report will find and I'll wait for the report to find.